Hey everyone, I'm Adnan and I'm a developer advocate here at the Cube team. Today I'll be showing you how to connect Cube to Jupyter. And obviously, as you do know, the Jupyter Notebook is a, is a web app for creating a computational, uh, computational documents that you can easily share between everyone in your team. So let's just jump right into Cube Cloud and I'll show you the query that I want to run and the data I want to display inside of Jupyter. So here I'm just running an orders count and I'm grouping it by status. Very simple, very straightforward. Um, I've also created a placeholder file for Jupyter so we can quite literally already have the boilerplate code to connect to Postgres. So now we just need to uh, grab all of the connection information from KubeCloud. Let's do that here and paste it in inside of the file uh, the cell here for Jupyter. So let's uh, paste in the, the host. Also grab the database. The database, let's paste it here. Add the username and password. The username is cube and the password, let's just paste that in right here and just add the username to be cube. So with this, we have the connection established with uh, our Cube Cloud SQL API. Now, I just want to run a simple query to see if uh, the connection works. So let's just run this simple select star from orders and save it all up. And let's run the entire set of cells. Sweet. So it works just fine. Now, if we want to display the data, we can, we can just reference the variable here. So let's save all of that, run all of the cells again. And we're getting a preview of what that looks like. Perfect. So it works just, just fine. Now we can also uh, move ahead to add a bit more complex queries. So let's just grab the query we just ran in KubeCloud. So that's this one and just rerun all of the cells like so. Perfect, so we're getting the exact output back, but it's, uh, it's in a table format. I actually want to format this and plot it on a chart. And I can do that by running the uh, dot plot method. So it's once again, save it all up, run all of the, all of the cells and here we go. We have a nice chart rendered and it is absolutely everything we wanted to do. So with that, this is how easy it is to read data from Cube into Jupyter. And you also have to know that every time you run an identical query, you will get a query cache. Uh, otherwise, if you want to check out pre-aggregations or any of the more complex features in Cube, you can uh, also do that in the documentation. Um, but yeah, for this video, this is it. Um, see you in the next one. Bye.